Good morning. Here we are today at 15 Suffolk Crescent Fielding. Suffolk Crescent is a lovely quiet cul-de-sac. I'll pan around here so you can see very nicely maintained properties. It's a sought after location, a short drive from the centre of Fielding. You'll see there it's got this gate which just slides across making the yard fully fenced and you'll see there's a couple of garden sheds there and a carport and an off-street park where my car is currently placed. If I just pan around you'll see there is a generous yard considering it is fully fenced. You can see there over the entrance way is a nice shelter which protects visitors to your home by, from the prevailing westerly wind. So let's head on in. First thing you'll notice is a gas heater there. And I'll just mention that round to my left is the first living area. And you follow through to a dining kitchen. Through the kitchen to the other side is the laundry. A second living area, bedroom and an ensuite bathroom. And around to the right are three more bedrooms, a shower room, a toilet and separate bathroom. So come on in. Here's the main lounge. And one of the things I really like here are these high floor to ceiling windows, which on a sunny day, unlike today, this would be a very warm room indeed. And it's a good size too. Moving through to the dining room, you can see there's storage over here, sliding doors which lead to a deck. And here is the kitchen, there's space for a fridge there and pantry. Very modernised feel and I'll just pan around and we'll pop you through. One of the nice features of this home is this large deck. Very nice for the afternoon sun. Path there leads round to the other back door and washing line. Again, there's the pantry, which I will show you on the way past because it's is actually quite a large size. As you can see. We now head into the second living area, which again has a nice outlook. I'll try and film the floor for a minute so you can get an idea of the size of it. it really is quite a large room. We've got the laundry through there. This home has been reasonably recently refurbished. This is what you might call the main bedroom. Got a light and uh, mirror there. Double wardrobe. Room to hang some more things around the corner. And you probably have your bed up against this wall. I'll just move around a bit so you can see from a different angle that not only is there the good storage, but there is an ensuite bathroom. with shower box, toilet and vanity. So just to recap, you've got the second living area here, so this would be good for elderly parent, or possibly for the parents of a family, while the children are actually down the other end of the house. Wouldn't that be nice? In storage cupboard here on the left. And let's have a look at the other bedrooms. The first one's got a double wardrobe, Again, windows that go right down to the floor. Very nice. This is the next bedroom. Nice and light. This would be a very sunny room, this one. Double wardrobe again. A 
double sized room. And once again placed very nicely for the sun. This double room may have originally been the main bedroom. As you'll see there's a double wardrobe there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk through a number of rooms that are down here. So we'll be going alongside the hallway. Let's have a look. The first room that you have, the shower. So this is effectively what we call a Clayton's ensuite. So it shares a door from the bedroom and a door to a bathroom. Around the corner here, a separate toilet. And if we go back out into the hallway and around, bathroom. So that's fantastic, isn't it? So you're not getting in each other's way when you're getting ready in the morning. And remember, there is an ensuite bathroom at the other end of the home. So this home is 15 Suffolk Crescent Fielding. It's well and truly worth a look. You could use it in a number of different configurations. Thanks for watching this video by Watson Real Estate.